Yo, how's it going guys? My name is Assassin 6 Games and welcome. I'm sorry I haven't done a video in like 4-5 days guys. Uh, I've just not really been, you know, I've not been playing the new Black Ops 3 map. I've actually been playing uh, a lot of Payday since the new update came out. So, yeah guys, uh, that's, I've been enjoying that and uh, I might do a solo stealth grin, golden grin casino or a lesser or something like that. Uh, but I might not, it's, uh, you know, it depends how I'm feeling. But anyway, guys, today I'm going to be showing you an armor or a tank bulldozer, whatever you want to call it, build. Uh, it's just a heavy build, basically. So, yeah, guys, we're just going to jump straight into this right here. And, um, you know, uh, I got my new character, my favorite one, Jacket. I did buy all of the DLC for this game. Yeah. <coughs> So, anyway, guys, uh, let's jump straight into the skills. So, the meat of the skill is going to be based on the Enforcer, guys. With uh, a little bit of Technician and Ghost for movement. But, anyway, guys, jumping straight in the Enforcer. So, what we have, you know, we have the Enforcer. Uh, I've not bothered getting Bullet Storm or Oppressor Basic or even Ace. Uh, I've just, uh, I've went with Transporter, Ace, Pumping Iron, Underdog, Die Hard, Shotgun Impact, um, Stun Resistance, Fully Loaded, All Aced, and then the basic perks guys is Ammo Specialist, because I don't really find it necessary to have 200% ammo, because normally I'll buy an ammo bag as well, so that's free ammo bags, you don't really need the 200%, uh, so Ammo Specialist, Shotgun CQB, or yeah CQB, uh, and Iron Man, and Overkill, A uh, all basic, sorry guys, um, the reason I didn't ace that is because, well, if you have a heavy weapon, you'll knock back shields, uh, shield guys anyway. Or if you, I don't know, if you had that and stuff like that, you know. Uh, the reason I went with, you know, transporter is for extra bag movement. And uh, obviously, since I'm heavy, then you're going to want to, you know, you'll be mellowing people a lot. So that's going to help you knock them down and stuff. Um, underdog is uh, it's always good to be to have extra damage and also if you ace it you have an your 50 cent damage bonus if you're surrounded and then if you ace that you'll get a, a damage decrease to your character so you know that's pretty much just a complete tank um, then there's Die Hard, you know, self-explanatory, armor recovery, you always need the armor, and uh, primary weapon whilst bleeding out, there's nothing better than having a minigun or an LMG when you think you're going to die and you, you can save your friends. Um, so now guys, stun resistance, this is basically for death wish, just because uh, flashbangs a lot, you know, through by crazy, like crazy by all of the uh, guards, you know, police force whatever uh, so you know that's always really good and um, yeah uh, I'm gonna get into the shotgun skills now guys Um, you know weapon stability with shotguns that's not extremely necessary but I ace this because 35% damage with shotguns increase uh, that's just the most useful thing ever increase shotgun reload speed well you know obviously this is going to be a shotgun heavy build so that's always good and uh, when you get overkill guys if you get a kill with a shotgun you get a 75 percent damage bonus for five seconds so if you're constantly getting kills then you're pretty much one shot in everyone that the 75 percent uh, alongside the uh, shotgun impact aced that gives you like you know a lot of damage basically so, oh, yeah, overkill's pretty pretty useful, and then these ammo specialists, enough said, you need ammo for your team. And then there's fully loaded, guys, total ammo capacity increase, that's really good, and then your ammo pickup, that's also really good. Uh, so, yeah, guys, um, that's all of the Enforcer skills, now we're going straight on to the Technician. What I went, what I went with for this, guys, is um, just to get to the second row, uh, I thought it'd be useful to have some assault rifle and sniper rifle, um, you know, zoom snap, uh, some people like to ace that, but I don't, um, so next I have the demolition, tri these are both basic by the way guys, uh, demolition man, this is basically just to get me higher up the scale with, because I really needed to, um, and then I got 50, nerves of steel, uh, ace, 50% less damage when interacting with things, uh, you know, as a tank, you need that. 
And uh, yeah guys, now what it is, is the sharpshooter weapon accuracy increased to all single shot rifles, or just all rifles in general when, I, when you ace it, which I did. So next thing guys, sentry, that was just to get me a little bit higher up this, uh, higher up the skill chain. So now guys, we're going to get into these skills up here. So hardware experts, drill sergeant, silent breaching, shockproof and bulletproof, all aced guys. Obviously these drill skills are, you know, they're just useful in general and I hate listening to the drill all the time, it just gets really annoying. So I aced all of these. And then uh, shockproof guys, tasers, shocking you, knocks them back. So basically, once the taser starts tasing you, you can escape straight away and kill him, so you're pretty much never going to get tased and never going to be in a bad situation. Um, and finally guys, Bulletproof. I'm sorry, but this is the most tanky skill. I'm not sure why this isn't in the Enforcer tree, like way up here. Like, I don't know if you aced Iron Man, but whatever. Uh, so, Bulletproof, 50% armor increase. That is just good. And, uh, you know, the armor recovery rate for you and your crew is 25% increase, so, you know, that's just useful. And uh, finally, guys, for Ghost, what I did, I, un I unlocked, uh, I aced Sprinter, because as a tank, obviously, you're going to need a lot of sprint speed. So, if you can hear uh, uh, my dog in the background, guys. Um, and then you have Dead Presidents. Uh, I didn't choose that. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong thing. So fast hands guys, interacting with bags, you know, as a tank that's pretty useful. And then Shinobi, that increases your speed even more. And finally, uh, being able to knock down an enemy with a melee strike, that tops, so that's 50%. And then it tops on with the Enforcers, uh, Pump and Iron. And uh, pretty much guys, you have a 100% chance to knock down an enemy. So that's always good. Uh, so that's it for the skills guys uh, So now we're just going to jump into the perk decks So this is kind of up to you guys whether you choose muscle or armorer Personally, I went with armorer uh, muscle gets you health um, You are more likely to be targeted, but you do gain health and health upon health upon health uh, You know 40% more health. That's pretty good and regenerating and stuff But I chose armorer guys because 10% uh, armor so that's 20, 30, uh, you know, 40. And that's like 45% armor, guys. And then with the... I forgot what that skill's called. With sh uh, bulletproof, guys. So that's, you know, that's 90%. And then I believe there's a skill up here somewhere that increases your armor. Uh, so that's like 100... That's doubling, doubling the Iron Man armor, guys. So, you know, that's also pretty tanky. So, it's up to you uh, whether you choose armorer or muscle. I prefer armorer because that means your armor pretty much it never goes down at all. Uh, so, yeah, guys, now we're jumping straight into the weapons. Uh, actually, the equipment, you know, ammo bag. And then the weapons. Yeah, I was kind of in a, a debate here, guys. I was kind of deciding... Uh, this LMG called the Brenner or the L or the mini the Vulcan minigun. In the end, I decided to go for the Vulcan minigun because I I just wanted to be the most tanky I possibly could. And uh, what gets more tanky than this thing? So yeah, guys, uh, that's number one. I've just had a huge voice crack. Hope you didn't hear it. Uh, Vulcan minigun, that's really good to have. Uh, and secondly, since it's shotgun build, I decided to go over shotgun. Or you could switch it up, guys, and just use, like, I don't know, some sort of SMG secondary and shotgun primary. But the secondary shotguns actually do a more damage than the primary ones. So I went with the L L Locomotive uh, 12G shotgun. Um, honestly, guys, I don't have that many attachments to this thing. This is like the one gun where I don't have really attachments for. Uh, I don't find it useful to have the ammo apart from Dragon's Breath. I uh, It's pretty useful because it sets the enemies on fire. The barrel exterior. Uh, honestly, I would have chose this right here. The Kring's com Compensator or the Shark Teeth Nozzle. Preferably the Shark Teeth Nozzle because of the huge increase in damage. But... Um, yeah, I sadly don't have any of them. The gadget guys, I decided to choose. I haven't chose anything because I don't really like these. But if you were gonna choose it, go with the LED combo. 
Uh, grip, guys. I don't really see the difference in the grip, so you know, I just have it. I just have this. Uh, accuracy is not really major of a shotgun because it's you know the shoot eight uh, slugs or whatever at once. Um, magazine, guys. You should get the extended magazine if you have it. Uh, I chose the holographic site because I really like that site. Stock, guys. I chose the police shorty stock. Uh, not for any particular reason. I just I just quite like that stock. Uh, and the upper receiver, guys, are, uh, the shell rack, because that increases your magazine. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, that's it for that. But finally, for the Mel weapon, uh, I kind of had a debate whether I wanted... Uh, I'll give you the option of three good ones to use, guys, for a tank. Uh, the fire axe, and if you have it, the great sword, or the bearded axe. So yeah guys, um, out of all of them, you know, it's up to you, and as you can see if you look right here, with all of those skills with uh, for the knockdown, if you look at the knockdown right here, if you charge it, it has 1013 knockdown, tell me that's not really really overpowered, but you know, so anyway guys, I've just had another voice, I really need to stop talking, I'm going to finish this video quickly, so choose the beaded axe, the great sword, or the fire axe. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed, and if you're, if you're a tank, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want some more, you know, payday builds. Uh, I do do them pretty often, this is pretty much, you know, what you guys want in my channel. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace.